Hello, this is Jan Pathak Puthor. Welcome to my show, English in the Garden. I'm not in my garden, but I'm in my library. I have uh, a topic for your consideration, actually. This is the relationship between power and language. Power and language. There's a relationship between power and language. I will discuss this in two dimensions. Two dimensions. First is the dimension of communication, uh, you know, personal communication. And I would like to uh, quote the speech act theory proposed by uh, Austin uh, in the 1960s many years ago. Uh, so every utterance or the language that you use, a sentence or your utterance has the elocutionary force. Elocutionary force. This is a technical term. Basically, it means the doing, the act of doing. So the language is action. So when I say, uh, listen to me, listen to me, uh, the language that you hear is the locution. Okay, the elocutionary force of listen to me is uh, is a command. I am giving you an order. Is ordering. Is giving a command. So this is what you mean by the power. It has the uh, what we call the doing power. And so the language that you use has outer, I mean, has the power to establish um, relationships between people, between you and your audience and other people. Um, this is uh, also important. So the language that you use tells people about your, uh, your upbringing, your intention, uh, your temperament, and everything about you. So that's why uh, the elder, I mean, the elderly people, our teachers, our, the sage, or the scholars, um, have won us to be the master of your own words, of the language, because uh, the language that you use uh, determines your future, your life. And this is the first dimension, I would say. The second dimension is, uh, by the way, I'm talking about uh, the power and the language. The, the second dimension is a, bit, a little bit uh, political. And the language that you, you are given or you are allowed to use to speak, um, uh, what we call uh, determines the power that you have, the freedom that you have. You know, the, um, if say for example, uh, the power that be or the laws uh, prohibit you from using certain phrases. Uh, or expressing yourselves in certain manners or ways, uh, you are losing your power to someone else, to the situation. They are actually uh, what we call framing your thought, your way of seeing the world. Like if you cannot say this expression, or if when you say you are in trouble, for example, that will, you will be put in jail or you will be uh, sentenced and you will, you know, they may torture you, they may, um, they may hurt you. So they are taking away your ability to use the language. And this is what I mean, the political dimension of the language that we use. If they have the power to control over you, telling you to use and 
not to use, when to use, where to use, and how to use. They are actually dictating you through language. So language has the power to, you know, it can empower you to have uh, other ideas. The, the, the sad thing about um, the whole uh, political issue of power and language is that in many cases, in many cases, in many places, many situations, uh, some people, they, they don't know they don't know certain things because they don't know, do not have access to the language. They do not have access to the language. They have been uh, constrained to use, to see the world uh, in such way and way. That's why there is a hypothesis called the uh, sapir wolfian hypothesis uh, saying that the language that you use reflects your uh, perspective of the world. So if you cannot use certain vocabularies, items, certain words, you are actually seeing the world only that picture. You cannot expand your possibility or your perspectives. And this is hurting because the whole purpose of learning a foreign language, one of the main purposes, is to expand your uh, perspective so that you can understand the world, the society, the universe. Because with the language, you have access to knowledge and uh, the, you know, the knowledge of the universe. If they contain you, they don't want you to say this say that, they restrict you, you are missing a lot. So just be careful about uh, what the language that you use and be aware of the language you are allowed to use, not allowed to use. I'm Chen Phatat Bhutan. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Language and power. Thank you for watching.